Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm making a really adorable coffee mini album using the um, coffee die set from Erica from Scrub Diva Designs. And um, it's a coffee gift tag holder die set, but I decided to turn it into a mini album because why not? And I'm using Round Trip by Maggie Holmes. And I actually did film this one a while ago. I just have not the time to record voiceovers, but I still wanted this video to be out there so you can have a look. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm doing it today. So I actually don't remember what I've done. Um, so yeah, I did die cut everything off camera. Um, I die cut several pieces. I did front and back for each um, like panel, like page of the album, just to make it a little bit stronger. And I sewed them together um, off camera. So I did show you that at the beginning. Um, and this like sleeve, like cup holder, um, I did turn it into a shaker. So yeah, it comes with a couple of layering pieces. And if you align them properly, you can turn it into a shaker. And I think it looks so cute. And I used a couple of sequin mixes from my friend Rachel. And yeah, let's just assemble this super cute and simple mini album using these awesome dies. And as you can see, I'm using my cinch. Um, I recently got this mini cinch because I just really wanted to, you know, create um, like albums like this at home. Um, I did use binding machine before at work. Um, so, you know, I had no problems using this mini one. It's definitely a lot different than the massive one we have in the office. But yeah, this one works just as well. And yeah, I'm trying to open a package. Um, it's it's these really pretty um, binder like wires from We Are Memory Keepers. And of course, I'm using pink. And I ended up going for this hot pink because there's a lot of pastel pink everywhere and I wanted, you know, I wanted a little bit more color um, in my project. So I'm just trimming off the excess um, wire and I'm sorry I'm a little bit off frame here, but all I'm doing is I'm bending the, the pieces that I just cut. I'm bending them to the inside so I don't cut myself or the recipient doesn't cut themselves. Um, just to make it, you know, a little bit more user friendly. And yeah, I think it turned out super cute. Here I'm just trying to attach it. And there was one thing that happened. I don't know how, but one of the wires would not bend properly for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of that piece that I bent a little bit, but it ended up being a little bit square. But I think it's fine, you know. The pages still turn properly, it still looks okay, but in my like perfectionist eyes, it really bothered me. <laughs> but it's fine, it's done. I didn't want to remove the wire and do it again, I just... whatever. <laughs> so I'm now... All the pieces that I want to decorate this album with, and yeah, I'm using... Um, a round trip by Maggie Holmes and at the time I filmed this this collection was still fairly new so this is how long ago I filmed this um, and I did have all the pieces still left because I just started crafting with the collection um, and I still love it I'm currently taking a break from it because I did do quite a lot with it um, but yeah I've got so many other collections that need some love as well so I'm crafting with them also it's now August, which means um, I think Halloween crafting is starting very soon and I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, but this video is not about Halloween. It's about this really adorable album. So I'm using this giant um, chipboard title called um, Explore. And I always like I usually struggle with these titles because they're so big and I just don't know what to use them for. And I don't know, I don't even like them on scrapper playouts. Um, I don't know. So I'm using them on this album instead. And I think it turned out really cute. And there's also this little tag and I have a little bit of seam binding left. And it was a bit of a struggle to get it in there, but I think it looks so cute. 
love the texture that seam binding gives you um very very cute and pretty and here of course i'm using a flower because it would not be a project of mine if there wasn't some kind of flower or leaves involved because yeah i've come to the conclusion that i really like flowers in projects so you will always see them um and i'm using a couple of the tickets um that came with the collection and of course i think you guessed it it's time for some gold thread <laughs> i should make this a meme or something like that because i i use this all the time because i just really like it and you know if i like something i'll just continue using it i'm using um, foam tape um, it's not super thick it's just like really cheap foam tape I found in one of my drawers and I'm you know trying to use up things um, so yeah and a little bit of dimension is cool so here I'm just using another ticket or like a label that I found on the s actually no I think it's from the sticker book which is, the sticker book is so lovely I love it um, so now let's stick down that ginormous um, chipboard piece and I'm going through my puffy stickers to see if there's something I can layer. You know what, I actually, I love puffy stickers, but I'm having a really hard time using them sometimes. Um, I think they're usually like my favorite product from a collection because, because they're small and they're very cute, but I'm just having a really tough time using them. I don't know if I'm the only one, but yeah, I don't know. Unless it's like word puffy stickers, because then I can use them on everything. But for example, these, like all of these little icons, like how am I going to use them? How am I going to use some sunglasses? So yeah, I'm, I kind of struggle with that sometimes. Please let me know I'm not the only one on this planet, because that would make me feel very lonely. Anyways, um, I use some very pretty um, purple glitter enamel dots that my friend... Tina gifted me for our swap, um, our Easter swap a couple of months ago and I love them. They're so cute and pretty. And here it looks like I've disappeared off camera and I don't know why. Um, yeah, sorry, I filmed this a while ago. But um, that heart you saw me putting down is from Erica's shop as well. They are scalloped hearts and they're super cute and I'll have them linked in my description box as well if you're interested. Um, it's like a layered scalloped heart but I only use the backing which has the scalloped detail and I did do some stitching around it and I think it looks so cute and it's it's a really fun basic to have in your stash if you're like decorating or making cards or embellishments or layer hearts or anything really but what I decided to do with this album um, I so the back of each card just looked a bit plain i used pink cardstock to back it just to make the album a little bit more sturdier and i don't know it just felt a little bit too plain so i decided to stick a cut apart on each um page so that's what i'm doing here and i think it just adds a little bit more detail to it also did you notice that i forgot to distress the second cut apart yes I just noticed that oh well I didn't realize when I was crafting but that's what happens <laughs> um, here's another heart I'm using and I'm loving distressing edges of like square papers it just looks so cool um, and I have a distress tool but I'm usually too lazy to get it for my drawer so I'm using my scissors and I cannot tell you how many times I've ripped my paper <laughs> by doing that um, like my distress tool is like literally next to me anyways um these tiny miniature bows are so so cute they are from erica's shop as well and i think they're called um layering bows um, because they come in like two sizes and you can you can layer them for more detail but I'm, i've just used the smallest one and I'm making the tiniest little bow and it is so so cute and dainty I love it so much um, I'm just using liquid glue to hold it in place and a little bit of gold thread around the center um, just to make sure it doesn't come apart and because I like the look of it um, but yeah it was very very tiny <laughs> really hard to grab but 
I think they look so adorable and dainty and I love them. They're so cute. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna stick that onto this page. Is it this page or is it the front page? I don't remember. It looks like it's this page. Um, I just think it looks so cute and adds a cute little detail. And I'm just making sure it sticks down properly. And let's move on to the next page. So again, I'm kind of following like the same style on every page. I'm using a little like, embellishments or cut apart, stick it in the corner and slightly embellish it, but not too much because I still want there to be a little bit of space for like mini pictures, maybe some journaling. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm just decorating these um, very simply and not adding too much because I want the recipient to add their own touch to it um, whenever they receive it and whoever receives it because I'm not sure. Um, so here again gold thread. What a surprise! But I just really like it. And I'm using this really cool, it's like an airplane ticket and I thought let's stick an airplane on top of it. Um, struggling again with those puffy stickers as always um, I find them very cute I just find them really hard to use like how do you use a pretzel <laughs> I don't know um, yeah so we're almost done I've got a few more bowls and you can see how tiny they are I think this one is actually the smallest one I think I lied to you so the previous one wasn't the smallest one because it's this one here just look at the size of it it's so cute and it is so fiddly to put this together, but it's so worth it because it's honestly like the cutest little bow ever. And just look at it. It's like the size of my thumbnail. So, so cute. And it will make any project look adorable. And yeah, I did not cut out any like, you know, things that I would normally cut out because I wanted you to see the full process of this. Um, and I think it's always really fun to see, you know, the bits people struggle with, um, the annoying things, you know, you would think a little ball like that would be super quick to put together, but it just takes a little bit longer. But I just like to, you know, show you everything and just look at it. It's so, so cute. Um, just using a bit of liquid glue to adhere it down. And we are almost done with this album. I think you know what's missing. Yes, a couple of enamel dots. Um, I always use a little bit of glue for enamel dots because no matter where I buy them from I sometimes don't feel like they stick as well as I want them to so by adding just a tiny bit of liquid glue you're making sure that they will not come apart in the future and yeah they will just you know be on your page forever so I'm just using small ones um, here and there like the tiny ones because I think they look so cute. And I'm using purple to add to the like pink background, like the contrast. Anyways, it was a lot of talking. <laughs> I hope you're not bored yet, but here is the finished little album. I think it turned out so cute. Loving the papers of this collection. Um, I just think it's so adorable. So here's the front shaker. Every back has a cut apart. Here are all the pages. I love the stitching detail. It just adds a little bit something to it. And it kind of ties in with the um, binding wires that I used because they're hot pink as well. And I think it's adorable. Um, make sure you check out Erica's shop. If you want to see more videos like this, then hit that subscribe button and I'll see you soon.